Hey, what's going on, guys? Robert Ramsey with a new DDI 5 video for you guys today. In today's video, I got something to share with you guys because I actually kind of waited too long on this video, but I want to share my theory with you guys on this new so called new mural that was added into the Doomsday Heist update. And I think I figured it all out. I think I figured it all out. I think people are looking too deep into this stuff right here and decode every single thing on, on this mural but it's actually much simpler than that and right away i'm just gonna give you guys the uh stuff that i have to share with you guys so let's get right into it if you look at those four sections right here uh we got yellow we got orange red uh we got uh, <laughs> franklin we got green and we got purple now the yellow one and I kind of gave it away already. Uh, yellow one is story mode. If you play the missions, uh, the dots on the map are yellow. If you play the missions, or actually the mission names, are also in yellow. And um, to get 100% complete, it will turn yellow. So the yellow section is uh, story mode. To give you guys a little example, and I will go much deeper into that. Well, not too deep. I want to keep it too simple for you guys, but if you uh, look at it, uh, that's why I got the green screen, and now I can like show you guys. Let's go right here. We are now at the mural. If you look at the mural right here, this is the Mount Gilead mural. It's a little bit different, but we got the Mount Gilead mural. So if you complete uh, the story mode missions, um, you actually um, unlock, or you are able to see the UFOs. So that is your journey or your story mode missions is actually at the end you're able to see the UFO. Look at this UFO right here. Now on Mount Chiliad you got the glyphs uh, with the moon and if you look right here uh, you got the moon cycle right here and also like like the glyphs on the Mount Chiliad. Isn't that strange? Now let's let me continue with this thing right here because maybe I kind of gave it away already but orange is Trevor. Orange is Trevor or red, orange red is Trevor. And how did I know this? I actually, <laughs> I figured it all out like a year ago I was making a video about colors and everything in Grand Theft Auto 5 and that colors represent, uh, uh, represents uh, the protagonists like Franklin, Michael and Trevor. Uh, Franklin is orange uh, red and I'm gonna show you guys this right now because I made this video like a year ago and um, this is what I showed in that video. If you look at it right here, if you hover over over uh, Michael, this is Michael, if you hover over him it will turn all blue right there. See that? And then if you look at Trevor it will turn all like orange. Now the colors, um, the color might be a little bit off, but I'm gonna show enough evidence and proof that this is Trevor. So um, this is orange, right? Now we have green, and that is Franklin. Oh, and another thing, uh, you will notice that uh, Michael is blue, but it's shown here purple. It's shown here purple. Also, will explain that. So. Oh, I actually can show you guys also that in that video that I made, uh, there are power stations in Grand Theft Auto 5, and those power stations actually represents the players in Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, that was like mind blowing to a lot of people. But look at this right here. We got green power, Franklin. We got Trevor with uh, nuclear power, and keep that in mind, nuclear power. And then we got wind with the blue icon, and that is. Michael, I showed in that video a lot of like stuff that hints towards this, uh, what I have for you guys right now. And like I said, keep that in mind that nuclear power is Trevor. So we are on um, this section right now, this one right here. <laughs> so funny with this green screen. This is Trevor, orange, orange. Look at this icon, that's Adams. That is Adams. That's the icon sign of Adams. Um, if we remove this, look at this right here. Look at that right here. 
That is so crazy. So also what is connected with Trevor and nuclear is of course, and that's so simple. Look at this right here, the nuclear sign right here. That's not the only thing guys, that is not the only thing. So I made a video uh, like a year ago and that is this video right here that says more proof Trevor has a connection with nuclear power. I showed a lot of proof and one of the evidence that he's uh, connected with that is uh, look at this shirt right here. Look at this shirt. Uh, it says nuclear power. Also look at the icon of that shirt. It's an atom, uh, nuclear power. Like I showed you guys this, right? So it is so crazy. And uh, he is also the only one that actually goes hunt down those nuclear waste barrels. He is the one that does that. So he is definitely connected to nuclear power. And what also is crazy is the infinity. Like this is the infinity sign and the infinity eight killer. Like those hints were found in Sandy Shores. Trevor lives in Sandy Shores. Now let's move on. I hope this is convincing enough that this is the case and I'm gonna move on. Cause this is, this one was the pre, like this one was the easiest one. So this section has to do with peyote plants, big food, and this sec section is Franklin. Franklin is green. Let me uh, show you guys that again. Franklin is green right here. You guys see that? So Franklin is green. We got the green section right here. And in the green section, we see a couple things. And it was pretty easy to like, uh, like know what's going on right here. So first of all, we got evolution right here. And we got uh, a Bigfoot at the end. Like we got a human and then turns into Bigfoot. Like what? So uh, Franklin is the one like in all those missions. If you play all those missions at the very, very end, you'll be able to do the last one mission and in that mission Franklin like he uh, has to hunt down Bigfoot he has to hunt down Bigfoot in that last one mission if you do that then you will be able to find the golden peyote plants you have to like uh, get 100% first in order to do that easter egg the bigfoot versus beast easter egg where you have to find the golden peyote plants so this whole green section right here that is bigfoot peyote plants and has all to do with franklin uh we got the number 27 right here 27 peyote plants uh we got which looks like a peyote leaf right here the leaves of the peyote plant and we got dna right here with letters like right here letters that says bigfoot 27 if you rearrange it yet again 27 and oh right here see that fingerprint they mentioned this in one of the first missions i think it was with franklin and lamar the fingerprints so yeah this has all to do this green section right here with franklin now let's go to the last part and like i sh like i already told you guys this is michael um this is uh, the most complicated part but i'll try to explain you guys easily that this is michael so let's start over here we got a letter right here this is actually a letter this is a greek letter and it stands for psi what we also have in grand theft auto 5 is epsilon and epsilon actually is a letter also in greek and epsilon is of course linked with michael michael is the only one that's linked with epsilon so there you go there you have it already but let me show you guys some more stuff that is uh linked to michael so right here oh right here we got yin yang uh, Michael does yoga and Michael like there are a couple uh, Missions where you have to do yoga like in the story mode, so we got that as well But let's go back to epsilon this right here. There's a Greek letter right here. That's psi We got the Greek letter epsilon in Grand Theft Auto 5 and epsilon is the only side missions those side missions are only uh, able to be played by Michael Alright, so in the Epsilon program, um, 
if you finish that and everything, you have the Epsilon Tracks and the Epsilon Tracks, like in the Epsilon program they are talking about Paradigms. You need to reach a level of Paradigm in order to complete it all, right? You need to follow the steps from the Paradigms. And look at this right here, we got this right here, and this right here, some steps, right? Some steps. And this is the craziest part. This is the craziest part and is enough evidence that this part right here is Epsilon. So look at this right here. I want you guys to take a look at this right here. This guy. This guy right here. He has like on his head like different sections and it says A, B, C, like blah, 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 blah. And there is a brain right here. Oh, there's a brain right there. You guys see that? And there's something else going on. And the key, the key, the key to reach the paradigm is crazy. Now you would say like, what is a paradigm? If you actually Google that thingy right there, and believe it or not, it's it is so crazy. Look at this right here. I'm just gonna bring it up right now for you guys. Look at this. Bam. If you Google paradigm, look at that. It's almost identical, the same. Like different sections paradigm like uh i got multiple pictures of this like different ones with sections uh in his head and also paradigm like has to do with brains you got also pictures of brains like what like this section right here the purple section is epsilon with paradigms and uh yeah it is purple but i think if rockstar made it blue it will be even like too simple for us to kind of solve it um yeah so this is crazy i also have this right here and this is like justice or something um and that's also something related to like the yoga missions and everything that you have to do and you have to go to dr friedlander and michael goes to dr friedlander and to learn his behavior and everything what he's done and if you complete all the missions you get like a form or something like a letter and it says like how you have behaved in all like missions you have played in grand theft auto 5 so this part this purple part is michael the green part is Franklin, the orange red one part is Trevor and on top of that the yellow part is story mode. All that combined is this thingy right here that I figured out. Like that's it. That's it. There's no, like I've seen people like um like going too hard on this like what is this? What could this be? And this be and there's all an explanation for that is much simpler than it actually is. People are jumping and going too deep into this mural thing right here. I think that's also a good thing, but I was like, look at it the simple way. Like yellow, orange, Franklin, Michael, bam. There you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have questions or if you agree with this theory, please let me know in the comments below. You also can disagree with me, of course, if you have your own theory. Put them in the comments below what you think, what is going on right here. I think I brought it simple right here for you guys. I can go more in depth in this uh, mural thing right here, but I'm using a green screen right now. I use a couple of pictures and everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't get too mind blown by this, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to put a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye! Michael is the blue player in GTA 5, uh, Trevor is the orange player, and uh, the green one is Franklin, so I was like, whoa!